BlackBerry.com. Hey everybody, Kevin here for CrackBerry.com. We are at CES 2012 in Las Vegas. I am joined again by Jeff Gadway of Research in Motion. We took a good look at native email and PIM on the playbook. And now Jeff, you're gonna walk us through basically what you can do if you own a playbook and a BlackBerry smartphone. Yeah, we've been putting a lot of work into um, helping users uh, get more out of using their BlackBerry tablet and smartphone together, right? Um, and when you bring those two devices together, uh, you kind of get this one plus one equals three effect. And, and there's a couple of really neat features that um, I'd love to show you right now. Let's do the it. The first is something that we're calling Open on Playbook. And, and the way that I use this is when I receive, um, say, an email, for example, with an attachment or with a web link in this case. Um, I get this, this email. It's got, uh, you know, a note saying, you know, check out this site. Um, and this is a site, you know, I... I I want to browse um, on my playbook because of the great browser and the larger screen. So Crackberry.com, good site. Uh, you know, it's, it's all right. Uh, <laughs> so I hit the menu key, and I can just say, open link on Gadway. And that's the name I've given my playbook. Right. So by clicking that, it launches the browser and is going to take me um, to that site automatically. Now, this open on functionality um, works for a variety of different file formats. So it works for, um, for videos, for pictures, for docs to go attachments. Um, it also works for emails. Uh, so, you know, there's a number of different scenarios in which you could see yourself receiving an email and checking it on your smartphone and wanting to access or edit that content on the playbook. Awesome. Yeah. So now that I'm on this site, um, let's pretend for a second I've got my playbook hooked into uh, my HDTV through uh, HDMI and sure. I'm sitting on the couch. I want to be able to navigate that site. So I can go into the bridge menu here, right? I'll just bring this a little closer. Um, and I can hit the menu key and I can enable remote control. Oh. So now what I've got is the ability to, yeah, thanks for bringing that on. Uh, I'll do it. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just <laughs> I've got the ability to use um, my, my smartphone's touchscreen or trackpad uh, to control a cursor um, on, the, uh, on the device. I can even use two fingers. Oh! Right? So, I mean, think about all the different ways you can use um, your smartphone as a remote control for your tablet, especially when you've got it plugged into HDMI. You could use it to, um, to uh, play or pause movies. Um, you could use it even as a PowerPoint presenter here with docs to go put it into presenter mode and use the forward and back keys to advance your slides while this is awesome. attached to a, a, a TV or a, a projector across the room. Awesome. Right? You've also got full support for the bezel, bezel gestures here. Um, so you can go through and you can you know, close, out, um, close out an application. That's so I'm going to continue using the smartphone here to navigate down to docs to go and show you kind of the last piece of this remote control that I think um, our users are going to be really excited about. Um, you know, it's no surprise that uh, you know, people recognize BlackBerry as having some of the best QWERTY keyboards, the best QWERTY keyboards on the market. And I know, Kevin, you're a big proponent of the BlackBerry keyboard. And so now you can use the BlackBerry keyboard with BlackBerry Bridge and uh, the remote control feature um, to actually input uh, onto the playbook. So here, see if we can get, try and get them both in the same shot. So I can say, hey, Kevin, um, whoops, I'm typing, sorry, I'm... Uh, Typing this note on my BB. Right so on. you've got, um, you know, so I'm trying to spell something wrong here. You've even got like, um, whoops, I guess I hit back. But you've got uh, the ability to uh, get um, autocorrect or... Um, now in this case, it's using the smartphone's autocorrect, not yes, the playbook's Yes, that's autocorrect. right. Okay. That's right. Very cool. So again, you know, those shortcuts that uh, BlackBerry users know and love, being able to double tap the, sp uh, the space bar to insert a space in a, right. in a capital. But, you know, this is great for if you're editing a document or typing a long email or even, you know, in the scenario with that remote control, right, where you are uh, connected to um, a TV across the room and you want to... Uh, input a, a website URL or something like that, you've got the ability to you know, remote control your playbook uh, using your BlackBerry smartphone and BlackBerry Love Bridge. It. I can't wait to be doing like 80 words a minute on my bold 9900. <laughs> right on. I just need that bridge app. Do you think I could uh, grab a copy today? It's coming in February. It's coming in February. We're, uh, okay. we're on track. Um, the software's looking really good and we're excited to bring it to, uh, to any, any user of a BlackBerry playbook. It's going to be available as a free software update and uh, available on, on all new playbooks starting in February. Perfect. So if a playbook, you can grab one on sale, grab it is what you're saying. That's a great deal. Perfect. Thanks a lot, Jeff. Appreciate Thanks, Jeff. it. Thank you. Wait, wait. In case you're wondering if, if like auto text works that is saved into your BlackBerry smartphone on your Bridge playbook, Jeff, show us. Okay, so I've got 
an auto tech setup for when I'm in the car. I can just hit PCM. Uh, hot. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>